In times of crisis, fire, flood or pandemic, a leader is someone who shows up, someone who rolls up their sleeves, pulls on their boots and does what needs to be done. That's the bare minimum in my mind. But how does that description measure up for this Prime Minister, for Mr Hawaiian Holiday, Mr It's a Matter for the States, or Mr The Rules Don't Apply to Me? Enough said, really. I remind the member for Macquarie to refer to members by their correct title. Yes, Speaker, Deputy Speaker. Uh, now, I know the Prime Minister doesn't hold a hose. All of Australia knows that. But this person, the leader, does hold a pretty important position. He's the Prime Minister of Australia, for goodness sake. And where was he while my community suffered through the worst bushfires in living memory? Where was the support during the devastating floods or through this crippling pandemic? When things were tough, he was completely missing in action. Instead of stepping up, he stepped back. When hard decisions were needed, he stepped away. When we needed this government to show up for us, they weren't there. And why is this relevant now? October 26th, a week from today, is the two-year anniversary of the day the Gospers Mountain megafire ignited. The Sunday just passed was the eighth anniversary of the day I lost my own home to bushfire. Bushfire season is serious in my electorate, and it's here. What has this government done to assist bushfire-prone communities be better prepared? Nothing. Are they talking about bushfire preparedness? No. About using Indigenous fire management practices? No. Is there anything about building an additional fire and rescue station and ambulance station west of the Hawkesbury River? No. What are they talking about themselves? What are they focused on? An election. And who loses? My community. Not only do you not hold a hose, Prime Minister, but your support of those who do and the communities they fight to protect is pitiful. Now to my Blue Mountains and Hawkesbury communities. This is another reminder to prepare yourselves for bushfire season and to revisit your bushfire survival plan. As we know, there are two parts to this preparing your home and knowing what you will do in case of a bushfire. Don't think that it won't happen to you. I'm the proof. The RFS website has lots of useful information about preparedness. Uh, and given that we live in one of the most bushfire prone places on earth, you need to revisit this regularly. And so my wish for you this coming weekend is go clean your gutters. <laughs>